Here's a quick tip for home builders. If you run into a situation where you have a flat studded gable truss like this one and the studs are not turned the other way. Um, it, like I said, if they're turned the other way, if these studs were turned at a, at a 90 degree angle, like the wall studs that were used to frame the wall underneath it in the same direction, then you wouldn't need to nail a strong back on. But if you have a situation like this and you're going to be installing siding, which is exactly what we're going to be doing, um, then it wouldn't be a bad idea to nail a flat strong back onto the back of these wall studs to keep them a little straighter. If not, you're going to end up with a with a real wavy wall. God, that's probably a tongue twister there. Um, you, you know, I can't tell you how many times I come across something like this where they didn't nail a strong back on, and when you look down the the siding wall, when you're standing at one end of the building and you're looking down towards the end, other end, so the front of the house looking towards the back, it will look wavy. There, it won't be very straight. And I hope I'm making myself clear with that. Um, if you have a larger gable truss, you know, let's say you have something that's 12 foot tall, then it wouldn't be a bad idea to nail a couple of these strong backs about four foot on center to um, uh, make sure that the wall studs are, the flat studs are go aren't going to be wavy. Um, here, here it looks like they nailed it kind of in the middle, and they didn't do a bad job with this. This is about where I would have put it myself. But you are going to run into situations where the wall studs are going to be longer. You know, so for example, let's just say the tallest wall stud at the peak of the roof is 12 foot tall, then you might need two strong backs in there, or even three in some cases. So anyway, there it is. I uh, hope this helps. You run into a situation like this wouldn't be a bad idea to consider this um, before nailing the siding on instead of afterwards when it might be a problem to actually get a 2x4 into the attic. So some of the information, some of these tips I share with you will be a priority and this one here would be one of them. You know, uh, once you sheet the roof and put the siding on and then you notice that the that the wall's a little wavy, you know, it's not really straight, then it, it might be too late or might be difficult to actually fix. You know, something that might have taken you 10 minutes would now take you probably about four hours, and that's what I'm trying to help you avoid.